Hello everybody and welcome back to what I'm calling Minecraft Sunday. Sunday as in the ice cream. Vanilla ice cream with a cherry and a little bit of chocolate sauce. Yeah. Uh, if you look down here in the corner, you'll see I got three mods uh, installed. And the three mods I have installed is the latest version of, or maybe not the latest version of Forge now, but the version of Forge, Minecraft 1.16.5, and Journey Map. That is it. And I'm also using the uh, texture pack, uh, and I'll show that to you in a minute. Okay, this is why I like this seat. If you look up on the journey map, like I said, the journey map is the only thing I got on in this texture pack. We've got an island here, and we got a shipwreck there. And uh, for those of you who don't know, my Minecraft skin I picked up way back at the beginning in 2013 was a shipwreck guy. And basically the tattered pants, tattered shirt, dark hair, uh, and beard. And I just uh, did a gray gradient on the hair and beard and changed the eye color. Uh, and I tried to contact the... Uh, person who had made the skin to get permission from them and uh, they never responded to me so hi everybody hardcore here we go we need to get cracking first thing I want to do is uh, we're in a hardcore survival situation uh, I've died here before so I know a little bit <laughs> die forward well, you can't really die forward in hardcore gray, as you have found out. Now, the, the problem that this area presents is that uh, it is, uh, I mean, I like this little island right here, but at nighttime, the drowns can come get you. It's a very small shipwreck. I think there is only the one chest in here and uh, I don't know how to do that quick thing where you get everything out quick but let's get out of here swim up in other words I don't want to drown all right I got a couple of suspicious stews which could be good could be bad could be sad, could be happy, glad. I don't know. Uh, but let's see what these offer here. Leather tunic with protection. Leather tunic with thorns. Let's go with the thorns. <laughs> I like that idea. I should have got the chest, but I was nervous about... Uh, Staying in there, under there too long and drowning. I know that I'm going to get some wood over here. And there is some berries also. We're in a taiga biome. Oh, we got a stick. Nice. So if any moms do try to get me, I can beat them off with a stick, right? Good luck with that, Gray. Good luck with that. We want to hurry up and get our basic tools. And uh, that. Because right over here somewhere. Is. Uh, yeah here we go. That's what we're talking about. I want to make a bench. Real quick Gray. Come on, Dan, don't be slacking. Time's I'm wasting. You got to go, bro. All right, now we got to do that. Then let's get some stickage. Take half of that. Here we go. Let's make a pick. 
and a shovel. There we go. And I really should make a axe. Because the axe is going to be my weapon of choice. Uh, for now. Anyway. So. But we did get some uh, potatoes and carrots, which is good. Alright, first things first. We got to get enough cobble to uh, make our tools and a furnace going into the stone age there gray so proud of you thanks ma <laughs> get this get this coal for sure because we need you know you need the torches okay we need one more for the furnace there we go now we got the furnace covered and we need more for tools so let's see there's our pickaxe there's our shovel I'm talking about the amount that I need and then I need three more for the axe and one for good measure let's do it like that all right look at that iron right there nice so we might go ahead and uh, get that as well because you know and I know that anytime we can get iron we need to do it but we're gonna get enough of this coal to get the torches now the question is do I want to go back to the island and spend the night or do I want to spend the night hold up down below here that's kinda where I'm headed with this Let me get, let me dig my way uh, back up here. In other words, make a way to get back out of here. And let's go ahead and get our crafting bench. I think the wise decision on my part would be to go down here. I know it's dark for you guys. I'll fix that here in a second. Uh, we want to get that going. Get a couple of torches here real quick. There we go. And we're not going to have enough wood. Green. Put down a torch. And my bench. I need my bench. Throw down that. Oh, oh, there's some more iron. Okay, I want to throw down some torches back here. Okay, this is good. It's a dead end. All right, we got more coal there. All right, let's see about this. See, this is where I messed up. In other words, I got to get sticks. All right, first off, let's get the pick and the shovel. pick and shovel and then we've got enough for an axe there's our axe and then we have enough for a furnace there we go now we're talking put our furnace there and we do have a couple more sticks I'll hold off on those two so that we if we need to make another pick we can get a few more torches going trying to play smarter trying to play smarter gray all right we'll put that down there add some fuel and then let's go get the iron I think we're at day night one already or no not quite not with the torch gray with the pick there you go 
All right, so we got three there. If I was smart, I would put something blocking this. So let's do that. Let's play, like I just said, let's play smart agree. Hopefully that'll protect me down here. And uh, let's see how much more iron we can get. Oh look, we got more coal. That's always good. Let's put a torch on it so you guys can see what's happening. Or just to make sure. I'm going to go ahead and break this pickaxe. I know it's slower using the wood, but I'm going to use it just because. Use it up. couple more now we're up to 10 nice okay let's get this fired up okay we've got our 10 ingots now this is where we got to make some executive decisions I think with the light of what we got here we only got two uh, things because we didn't plan this out very good let's go ahead and make our pickaxe Okay, so now we've got our iron pickaxe so we can get to the resources if we get down to diamond or whatever. But we need four for shoes. We need five for uh, a helmet. But we can use seven for pants. So I guess that's what we're going to get first. Because we've already got the uh, tunic on... Uh, temporarily which gives us at least that uh, so that's good now the question is do I go back down here was there any resources over here no nothing showing well we do have some more coal up here so let's go ahead and grab that and yes I know I'm mining over my head one of the first rules of Minecraft Gray especially in the hardcore don't do that stuff <laughs> as you continue to do that stuff and let's keep digging diggity dig dig 44 there we go oh you know what we're hurting for folks we got to go outside yep i forgot we need wood Um, I think it's dark out. Let me go ahead and get my resources back here. No, it's still daylight. Is it the second day, maybe? It might be the second day. Let me look over here. Ooh. Back up. Got him. Got him before he got me. Should I drink a suspicious? I got some kind of effect on me. What effect? Night vision. That's what I'm talking about. Now I can think it's daytime when it's really not. <laughs> Let's get up here and get some berries, Gray. Alright, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish off the episode. Don't get stuck on the berries, Gray. Come on, man. Uh, what I was going to say is I need to get wood. And I need to get... Uh, hope I get some saplings. Alright, I think what we're going to do is we're going to take off this layer use the use the sand to our advantage ie for glass etc but I don't want to do this all day because 
we're going to get stuck out here and we do have the potential for drowns to come after us and so do I have enough uh, one two one two all right in other words I'm putting a I'm putting a doorway right there and I need my sand move my furnace real quick let's go gray you ain't got time to play bro what do you think you're playing a game or something so that's uh, one two three four five and it goes this way by two like that and uh, I think I went too far the other way but we'll sort it out two and then five here one two skip one one two two in again uh, just trying to set up a perimeter oops don't want to do that don't want to use extra cobble okay so this is This is panic building, guys. That's what this is. If, if you didn't recognize it for what it is, that's that's what it is. Um, I want to fill in this part back here, and uh, I'll level this off. And then we're gonna go have to go and explore and do stuff. Is that where the uh, center is? All right. Well, we have establishing our base. Let's throw that in there. And let's throw some stuff in there. I'm going to bake a potato. I don't think you bake carrots. Do you bake carrots? I don't know. Uh, do I have any dirt? No dirt. Call me Joe Dirt with no dirt. <laughs> All right. I'm looking at my... Uh, timer and it says that we have been at this for about 31 minutes so yeah we have survived let me uh what happens to the drowned at night that's what i want to know and i'm going to do something pretty stupid but i'm going to do it anyway I mean, stupid in that if there is a drowned out here that's trying to get me, he can get me by hitting me with his trident. Uh, all right. I'm going to go into F5 mode here. There we go. Great gamer playing hardcore Minecraft Sunday. Vanilla Minecraft with a cherry on top and a little bit of chocolate sauce. Oh, I didn't show you the chocolate sauce. Let me show you the chocolate sauce. Resource plat, uh, pack that I'm using is Compliance 64. Uh, that's the same one I'm using for my modded 
Let me get off of here before I get attacked. <laughs> uh, but we did it. We survived it. Thank you guys for stopping by and checking me out. I do appreciate it very much. And uh, like I said, I'm going to keep this going as long as I can survive it. Um, and uh, eventually we'll get to the point where we have doors on all four sides. Uh, but if you haven't subscribed, consider doing that. And if you have, thank you very much for being with me. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're rooting for me, give it a, give it a thumbs up. If you're not rooting for me, give it a thumbs down. <laughs> it's okay. I'm all right with it. Thank you very much, and we will catch you in the next episode.